Amen to good morning, Niger show. I make you know the surprise. Say from now on, back to back to back. Almost everything we're gonna see. Summer, summer will get intonation of the elections where they come. And if you know in Nigeria, you just enter Nigeria. No the surprise, our elections are forthcoming. And everything we're gonna see for TV, everything we're gonna hear for radio, will get something to do with the elections. Even our papers too, almost everything we go there, now election talk will they talk. And now we get the kind of guests in the house, we don't they follow us talk about election matter from uh, some weeks back or even some months back as in a specialist for this kind of uh, political matter. Join us as we welcome Mr. Denny Ikunu in the building. Good thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Thank now, you. Now, before we talk about the election, we'll talk about PVC collection. Mm. Now, we know say Nigerians over the weekend, they come outside, they complain as regards to the collection. Some they complain, saying they talk to my card is missing, and they never even, and the, the time for them to even administer the card to me, um, actually, a lab, they come close down the, 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 the um, office point. What do you think about this? Well, you go close to the assign egg don't extend it by two days, suppose round off on Saturday, mm. but we are pissed they don't add two days. But the point be say all of the mistakes we don't happen don't show say the food where you go through for your mouth make you make sure say the thing where you pack put now what if you bite. Mm -hmm. I like must know say this 2019 world day so millions go they added to become those where one day of voting age. So if you talk about what they call continuous voters registration no be election year or two years to election. This year now, after this election, make INEC start to register people who don't clock 18 years. Make people who lose their PVCs, make INEC register them. Those who won't transfer their PVC, will be saying they no fit transfer them. Make INEC cancel those ones, register them again, give them the PVC so that the workload go reduce. Why it be like, say, I neck no fear and do the whole matter, be say, the workload don't too much for their neck. And any time where the workload plenty, it go be difficult to undo. For instance, I get some report from Kaduna and some other states where it be say, the work they so much, where be say, they have to call in people to even prevent those who want to collect their PVC. For Abuja, for instance, you get one woman who be say, then transfer their, their card. She and her husband, they're supposed to transfer from Kaduna to Abuja, but then find I say husband own day there, wife own no follow come. The wife don't go there about six times. Another man there will be say him and him friend will then do the registration the same time for that same Abuja. He, he, in friend see own, he no see own. So if you look all these kind of things, now part of say because the workload did too much. For some people like me, I don't get problem at all to collect because as I register for around Ikoyi year, the time where they tell me, say, don't ready, I go there, I collect them. But I go when it be, say, they give me the time. I know wait. So some of these people say, get their own mistake, where it be, say, when I next say, between so, so and so time, go there. If you don't see your own or any kind of problem, they at least you go feel complain and they go feel thank to you. But when they work on too much, they they hard. I'm going to quickly go into the electoral materials, okay. uh, the sensitive and non-sensitive materials. Um, Oga first also call you, Inek, <coughs> excuse me, Inek Chamo, don't come and talk, say, uh, and we even talk on this morning. Say, for the card readers and fingerprint scanners, say, make Nigerians don't get any wahala. Say, they don't change them. Say, the battery now will last longer. Say, the fingerprint scanner, now the place where you go put your finger, say, the thing they uh, uh, wide enough so that you don't go miss the, you don't go say, you know, if you see your finger well, well. Now, um, apart from that, we talk about uh, voter sensitization yeah. on how to use these particular things. For example, uh, when you don't, in, you know, put your finger for the ink pad where you go stamp your finger. You know, the party symbols and all that. You feel say INEC don't they sensitize the voters well enough? Mm -mm. INEC no really do that work now. Um, INEC concentrate more on the collection of the PVC and telling people not to sell their votes. INEC never really sensitize people on how to use their machines. Mm. Uh, the thing where they talk, they open to those where they hear us from house, where they watch us. Mm. I need concentrate more on preventing rigging, concentrate more on preventing vote vying, concentrate more on settling issues with candidates, concentrate more on the collection of PVC, but not on the sensitization of people, so that at least they're going to know what to do when it comes to collect, when it comes to using of their card readers. Mm. And if you look at some people, they get problem with their, with their, with their prints. Not be everybody prints, they very, very okay. And that's why INEC must take that message such that they go even let people know, say, if you get something like oil for your hand, it go be difficult for you to use the, uh, the, the machine. If you get some kind of glossy thing for your hand, it go be impossible. So if you want to participate in the election, we'll say they don't get problem with your fingerprint. You need to wash your hand properly first, clean and dry, no rub any cream or be anything for the hand. Carry and go there so that your fingerprint could be easily identifiable by the card reader. 
All of these things, now me, I expect, make Ines do, particularly come to this kind of station now, like Wazoba Wode, we'll be saying a grassroots station where the rich people across the country talk about, say, okay, well, this thing, you know, and in fact, it never late. Mm -hmm. And if you come now, say, for every two, two hours, maybe then they slam the information, say, if you want to use your card, if you want to make your fingerprint, no get problem. Wash your hand well with soap and water. Clean your hand well, well. well make sure, say, you no know, rub cream for the hand. Make sure, say, you put your hand for the hand. All of these things, now, Ines supposed to do, but we never really see. Yeah. Mm. Now let's talk about the security of the workers and even the ad hoc staff because me first time I don't actually experience them um, in 2009 when I did serve for inside the most state I be volunteer as one of the workers for the election and it, it, it was terrible because at a point they kidnap us carry us go one point tell us to do the maybe they turn print uh, um, the 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 papers the there. So a lot of people get their own experience like this. Now, you feel, say, INEC don't actually prepare very well to protect the adult staff and even workers during the election? I get my doubts, but we no go wait, say, you know, the possible. What it make me talk to me, so I remember very well, say, about 13,000, seven and something, core members, now INEC go use for this election. And INEC tell us, say, they don't train them properly. Okay, then they train them really on how to handle all of their materials, but then they train them on how to escape for their life because life is important. We know, say, for 2015 election, one core member died. The reason why that boy died, I know talk to others know that, but the reason why that young man died, particularly, we say, the boy no one compromise the election. He put him for his Facebook account to say, he do everything when to do before God, and he do him for a nation. But then kill that young man just because he no one dance to the tune of evil people where they make the music. What I want to talk, we say, for INEC now, make we tell you the reality. The police officers that we get for Nigeria, they know reach 500,000, and we are over 198 million. He tell you, say, you go get one policeman to nothing less than 400 and something people or 500. It is not possible. So how I negotiate, maximize this short staff, where it be, say, at least people will like to be safe. It is to make sure, say, they make sure, say, people where they put for various centers to take, do the work, really know what's in the day there for. Because there are times you go find and say, maybe when election they go, some policemen go just sit down and say, okay, so far we day here. Your owner to ensure, say, anybody will show sign to cause problem, the person know they are allowed. I remember, say, Nigerian Army talk, say, at least the spokesman talk the other day, talk, say, they go deploy 95% of the entire Nigerian Army. Um, it worried me first, say, you go deploy Army, go do police work. But with the way we things, they be like say police no fear and do the matter. So army go they there to support. So if you talk of security, humanly speaking, I get my doubts. But I believe say INEC feel definitely do something, especially as army don't promise say they go support police for this work to guarantee security. So to a great extent, uh, the presence of army go make people will be say their head in the streets to come in order, and to also make sure say police wake up say if my work. We are supposed to do and not do and well, and another person come and ask, can they do the work? Make I really rise up to the occasion to do the best thing we are supposed to do. So I think, say, to an extent, uh, they go feel do something for that angle. All right. Now, uh, maybe we come up for security and uh, protection as you don't talk. And uh, maybe we look the election process itself. Now. Good. On the day where people are supposed to come out, come vote, uh, you know, they, Apart from the voting, we also get collection, or a, a collection, and we get the announcement of results. So like a full process, full, yes. you know. So now, first of all, coming out to uh, the election was, and I'll go use Ocean State election as a case study. Now, we get how to deliver these materials to uh, the different locations. Uh, some people don't come and talk say, before, say, if for better make some materials, read those places the night before or a day before, but under secure, um, you know, environment, so that once, if at 8 o'clock, say, once that, once at 8 o'clock reach, uh, you know, accreditation and then voting will start simultaneously. Others don't talk, say, no, for safety reasons, make everything be disbursed at the same time, 5 a.m. from INEC office, depending on the state where you day. But then, getting those materials to the desired locations now will come be a problem. Now, from your own point of view, I will ask the, the question in three places, but the first one I will start with is, how do you feel say will be the best way uh, to get these materials to their various polling units on time so that election will start on time? The best way to get them there and I, I don't choose so, mm -hmm. because some of those places no get road. And when you carry sensitive material, you know go figure go put the thing for danger way, because if roads to those places, no they okay, and you carry and they go such places at night, what is the assurance say you know go they will lead for them to collect them? So I except don't look the problem where they their hand now. Now I make them choose the pattern where they take at least settle those material for those areas. Before we go even talk about say okay, oh, 
uh, whether I ne go think of another thing we we'll do. Government must first of all provide road as part of the infrastructure to the nooks and cranny of this country. Make I tell you the truth, eh? The things where they see around, it they be like say government no exist. For instance, Lagos, they talk say be center of excellence. I travel from here, go by that grid for weekend. I tell you, there is no definition of hell. Hell no there anywhere. Hell did that road. Hell no be when you die. Hell did that road. Because people, they pass for that road. You see how children and adults, they suffer. So you go ask yourself, say, the road will lead to all other West African countries. PDP, they did 16 years. APC, they did they go four years. All of them be like, say, I depend. They don't see that road. Then they talk or say that they improve economy. The last count of travelers for air, now Lagos get more, in excess of six point something million of all the airports for this country. Yet, what did they do to Murtala Mohammed? And they talk of say, like say, people with their power, they don't even understand their responsibility. So if they talk of INEC and the material, you go first and say, okay, what's it be the provision? We go make them conveniently carry those material, go inside those places. So at the moment, my brother, the pattern where INEC choose, then be the safest, so that they don't go carry material, go thief, or go keep people for road. Until we think, say, every location for this country is they very important. We don't go get solution. For instance, now, Federal Land Revenue, they talk to them, make an excess of five trillion or how many trillion? Yes, for the first time, for the first time in this country, they make up to that amount. I commend say they talk to say they make the amount. How then take deploy the money? Now the question will go ask. So for me, every area for this country they important. Area where we get company, area where no get company, your responsibility is that to provide infrastructure because every other thing go they beneficial or connected to that particular thing where you provide. Now what's in the important there be that? Mm. So for INEC to think of another way. Mm -mm. They first of all must make sure say those areas they safe to even bring the material for night. Then again, I talked before. Say the number of police where they you know reach everybody for the country. You know go if you carry sensitive material go area for night. When you know get capable police officers we go stand get it to destroy anybody where one can spoil the material where you carry. So all of these factors now they very very important. I make not forget, say, even the security agencies, they say they com and complain about inadequate weapons. Say their they are equipment not they very cadered you know? the, For me, that one no be waiting they're supposed to talk about. Anytime where you get security issue, number one, we see waiting Chief of uh, Chief of Army Staff, but they to talk. Anytime where they talk of problem for the, the uh, for news for around December of last year, he said the money was supposed to enter there and never enter their hand. As the ogre of either police or army, if weapon no they so that people no go see you as who know they do your work, you go talk. Then they always they get at the film make requisition. Ah, we no get enough rifle, we no get enough bullet. Oh. All of these things you go make requisition as the number one more. So why it be say you no get what you need to do your work and you keep quiet? If for instance I did this place and I need maybe paper by or I need printer. Because now the work of this place I want you to do, for instance, I go ask so that they go give me that thing while I go and do the work. So if you don't get to, to take do the work of those who employ you, you go ask. So if you ask, they don't give you. You go no say you ask, they don't give you. Nobody say you go say no day. Why be say army? They repeatedly get money. For instance, 12 to Kano Jet, they buy them for army. What's the police? They look. Now here we day where we say they carry police, go fight for some, go do some training for them. Police take off. They take off because, number one, even confidence where they need to do the work, they know if do it, let alone say the ammunition the way they need to fight the battle. So if police no get enough supplies to take do the work, it could be very difficult. This is not the reality where they talk about. So I know we talk about external observers um, for the election. And I will know say yes, um, last week, um, the statement by the governor of Kaduna State, uh, Nasir Erufai, where he come outside to say foreigners go actually live in body bags if they interfere into the election. Now, what is you, what you, your opinion about that statement, first of all? And secondly, you feel, say, this election, would be free and fair? Well, um, now, one of the most very careless and reckless statements where anybody, where the governor go talk. Because I did sure say, if not me, I be enough not talk that thing, when I know they did the studio today, they go don't go carry us. We know the kind of letter we are about John the right. We be say if now me and you write that letter, they're not gonna know where we did now. Oibo man talks say what is source for the goose is source for the gander. All of this inequality they cause we give for country. Going back to what I refer to, I no no say when you make that kind of statement, the world don't hold them down. One day go come up for that position when they and they go remind them. 
and God save them. Make God save and say, for that cardinal when they don't kill people. Because make no life for you. The International Criminal Court, they go make sure, say, then deal with them because he don't talk up. It's a very careless statement he make. Even if they vex about something, they talk of, say, uh, not to protect country or something like that, you know, go say people go live in body bags. Because apart from even observer, what about the life of the people who so is supposed to be governed over? All of these statements, nobody the kind of statement will be say person they make, especially when you be number one citizen of your state. So all of these things are very divisive statement. And I don't hear American, American uh, uh, ambassador, Swiss uh, Minton, he talk. He talk categorically about what he I talk. Hmm. That man never know the people when they deal with. If to say no, if for not talk that thing. Because even people will be president, will be say then get power of person, then they go criminal court guns, and if the West won't deal with you, they know how to deal with you, especially when it comes to Zazid. My own prayer be say, make nothing happen to any observer. That man no go go free, because it's not the truth. Now what you don't talk. Later on, he come outside, they explain right and left. No explanation. That's the way you talk in a dangerous statement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Oga. Thank, you, Thank you very much for having me. Thank to enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.